ऑसिलेशन पर सेकेंड हार्ट पंप्स का ब्लड टू द डिफरेंट बॉडी ऑर्गन Good afternoon to all the teachers and students. Here, once again, I am in front of you. Today, I have come with some new words. So, welcome to the show. Welcome to the program, the English Doctor. Today, with me, two swallows, two young dynamic swallows from our own school, Shake Pet. One is Akash studying his second year MPC and Umesh also studying in second year MPC from Shake Pet. So, welcome Akash. Thank you sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon sir and good afternoon my dear friends. And Umesh, so welcome to you too. Good afternoon sir. Good afternoon to all the friends. Good. So, uh, Akash, um, I am going to the program. Do you have any questions? Yes sir. Yeah. Obviously, when we get down to the exams, yeah. there are some words which are really confusing. Mm -hmm. So, how can we get through these confusions? Okay. Yes. By looking at the words very often. Yes. Yes, yes sir. Umesh. Yes, sir. Yeah. There are some words which are really confusing while we are writing the exams. Exams. Okay. So, let us look at today's uh, words. The words often confused. So, let us look at the first word. For example, we have two words there: accept and accept. Okay. Both sound similar. One is accept and another mm -hmm. one is accept. So, what do you mean of accept? Yes, sir. I you can differentiate it. Yes, yes. yes. The accept means in, in parts of speech, it's, it is a verb. Yeah. And the meaning, uh, it comes to the, to agree. You agree. Yes. yes. And uh, we can form a sentence, that I always accept good advice. Okay. And accept, it, it means that it does not include. Hmm. And in parts of speech, it com comes under preposition mm -hmm. or even a conjunction, I think. Okay. Yes. Sir. Fine. So, uh, accept means something which uh, takes something or I always accept good advice. That is an example. Okay. Right. And uh, accept means I uh, a preposition, as you said, not included. Accept this. Okay. Uh, for example, I teach every day except on Sundays. It is a preposition. I We get we have vegetarian food every day except Sundays. Yes. And ac coming to ac accept again to agree to something or uh, to do something. Someone gives you a gift and you say, I accept it. Thank you very much. I accept it. So, I always accept good advice. Right? Now, accept is usually a preposition and an accent. Is a accept is a verb, okay. as you said. In rare circumstances, accept can be used as a verb. For example, on a road sign, you know, we will have some road signs somewhere. It will be written, some words will be written, no entry, buses exempted. Means, except for these buses, no other vehicles are permitted on this road. Okay. Now, the second word is accessory and accessory. So, this is the most uh, confusing word, sir. Mm -hmm. It is comes frequently in our life, but we are really confused with the A and O. Can you define it, sir? Yes, yes. Yeah, the accessory is the first word. You please look at the screen. The first word, accessory and accessory. Both are same meaning. The difference is here. One is a British word and other one is an American word. For example, British word, one is color. You have, when you type in your computer, you find C O L O R. That is an American English spelling. And the actual the spelling is C O L O U R. We Indians accept the British English. So, we had follow the British English, not the American English. So, the first word is accessory, 
e meaning a person who is part of something. So, in the, according to the British law, so look at the screen. Accessory is used in British criminal law, which describes someone who helps another person to commit a crime. He was charged as an accessory to the murder. For another one, the second one is accessory, is an attachment, your dress, maybe something to make it, a thing which can be added to something in order to make it more useful or versatile or attractive. Accessory, dress, this is an accessory to the dress. For example, tie is an accessory to, to make it you know, more formal. An old outfit can be rewarmed with a simple new accessory. Rewarmed means give a fresh look, a better look. Okay. He was then coming to the first word again, accessory that the first one is the British word. Okay. The American word and second one is the British word, accessory. Okay. So it is yeah. Yes. And now let us have then and then. So, uh, during our write, uh, when we are writing exams, yeah. we will uh, most probably will be confused mm. where to write then and mm. where to write than. Then. I think uh, than uh, it is used in the part uh, in the English grammar, right? Mm. And then we might be confusing uh, where yeah. to use the where, where yeah. to use it yeah. in grammar mm -hmm. and uh, in forming sentences. Yeah. Uh, can we uh, can you please uh, yes, differentiate sir. it? Yeah. Then is is a matter of time. For okay. example. We will go to Mana TV studio. Then we will give a program. Okay. Right, you got it. Yes. So I have made an action. Then what happens? What's the next? Then we, we give a program. Okay. The dan is a superlative degree, as you said. It's a part of a grammar. Superlative degree. For example, you are taller than Umesh. Okay. Akash is taller than Umesh. We say. Okay. So let us look at the screen again. Then means after that as a description of time. I will go to the bank and then I will stop at the store. Okay. Than is used when making a comparison. Example, okay. I am fast I, I am a faster runner than my friend. She can write better than her friend. Now let us look at another word called into and into. It looks similar word, but one okay. word is the first word is joint, the second word is not joint. The first word, what is the meaning of first word? Into is a preposition that answers the question, means where. It does not need a physical place, exa for example. The doctor walked into the room. So, when you wanted to show a place to where he goes, it is you have to do it as into. The words should be joined. Okay. My sister got into graduate school, means in the college. In American America, they say it, uh, graduate school means in India, we say it is college. Now, into the word separated in and to is used as a in a prepositional phrase. For example, I ran into my best friend at the zoo is a preposition in to is a preposition. The two words are written separately and they appear side by side. Okay. So, yes, yeah, yeah, Umesh, yes, you have yes, a doubt. Yeah. Yes, yeah. These two words are rarely comes across in the mathematics. Which of the well, add and add, add, add. add. Okay. So while the mathematics lecturer is dictating uh, something about add or add, mm -hmm. we will, we may write instead of add we may write add. Can you give some of the explanation yeah, for this? No, sir? You, you want to write add add yes, add. add two sums yes, something sir. right? Yes, sir. But sometimes you know you end up writing add. Yes sir. Right. You end up yeah. writing add. Yes. Do you read newspaper? Yes sir. Yes. Yes, yes sir. Do you find come across some kind of you know about these and about that? Yes. Somebody will be writing. Yes. yes sir. What is that? It's an advertisement. Advertisement. Yes. yes, exactly. Yes, sir. It's an ad. So ad is a short form of Adverted. advertisement. Okay. The second ad, A D D, is referring to the mathematics. Okay. You add up something. You join addition. It is ad. Please look at the screen. See, ad means an advertisement in the newspaper. There was an ad in the daily wanted security guards. Daily we come across. Okay. You give, you add, that is addition. Add numbers or other items to make a large group, include or addition. Please add his name in the selected list. Next one is? Yes, sir, the word adapt uh. and adopt. Mm. How can we differentiate, sir? Yeah. Adapt. Uh, not much, uh, not very clear. Yes. Yeah, and adopt that means something or uh, taking. Uh, taking something. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So there is a one same. It is it's only one word 
it confuses you. Do words yeah. confuse you? Yeah. He is the villain. Yes, sir. The, the villain word, in the first the word is A yeah. and O. A and o. o. The first word is adapt. Okay. The second word is adopt. Okay. So adapt means give in to the adjust, okay. adapt. And the second word is you take in somebody. For example, the first one is when I say an example, you have to adapt to the uh, new situations. Our class. Five students, when they come into our institutions, they adapt to the hostel environment very quickly. Some okay. of them will not. Some will take one week. Some will take one day. Some will take months. So adapting the situations. When we go to some places so as tourists, we have to adapt to the climate quickly. Otherwise, you fall sick. Okay. The second one is called adopting. Means you take okay. it. For example, a couples, uh, a, a childless couple. Okay. The the right. married people sometimes they may not have children. Okay. So what to do? They adopt children, not adopt. Okay. So, but many people get confused, adopt and adopt. adopt. Yes. Okay, look at the screen. Yes, see. Adapt means familiarize, get used to or adjust. Example, she adapted to the hostel quickly. As some of the tourists could not adapt to the weather, they felt sick. Second one is adopt, to take on, assume or agree to. The childless couple adopted a child. You can adapt to change. You can adapt to weather. Okay. You can adopt a child. You adopt a new way to exercise. Right. Okay. So no. Yes. Advise and advise. Yes. Yes. Sir. Sir, yes, Umesh has something view, to say. Yes. In my view, this is the most confusing word to the many of the students. Yeah. While the teacher is uh, dictating something, yes. they may write S yes instead of C. C. So, I want to clear an explanation on yes, about this. Yes, uh, Akashi, can you explain that? Yes, sir. Advice, it's uh, like, uh, advice, it's uh, one of the advice is the one uh, which yeah. is given a suggestion. Yeah. The first one uh, or second concern. one? It is the, yeah. yes, second. the second, so second one. one. Uh. Yes, sir. Mm. Uh, for example, if you go to a doctor, mm. he advises us to the first take one or second one? The second one. First one. Yes, sir. Mm. Used by a doctor regularly. Yeah. yeah. And yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And yeah. Come. So look at the board. You know, uh, advice is a verb to offer suggestions and give counsel. It's called advice. Nice. The teacher advised. So here, there's a way to to get into this. You know, there's a shortcut. Now, when you write a d v i c e s c you always say, what is the past tense of that? E D. So, yeah. we cannot write A D V I C E D. You write A D V I S C -E D. So, it is a verb. So, he advised, okay. not C E D, S C D. So, that is one way you can always get it. Like he, her parents advised her to pursue higher education. Sir. The second one is advise, the knowledge, knowledge. recommendations and guidance that is given. So, it is a noun. First one is a verb, the second one is a Noun. Noun. Advice. The professor will offer advice to the graduate students uh, by advising them on what course to take to complete a degree. See that now. The, in the same sentence, I have used the both words advise. The one is a noun. The second one is a advising. Continuous sense. Yes. It's a using advising. See. Sir, I yes. have a doubt regarding these two words. Yeah. So, while the teacher is pronouncing, mm. so both uh, the pronunciation of these two words are same. Same. So, why can't we, we will confuse mainly? Yeah. So, we can write the word according to the sentence? Yes. So, that is what I said, you know, when you wanted to know which one, uh, the doctor gave advice. Gave means it could be a noun. Suggestion. Yes. Suggestion. Suggestion. So, noun. you write? Ad advice. C. C. And doctor was advising. S I N G. Verb. 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 Yes. So, that is a simple thing you can always look at it. Okay. Now, look at let us go to uh, another word. What is the other word? Aid and aid. Aid, aid and this, this is also another word always confused by the children. Aid is a noun, the act of helping. Okay. The second one is called that also the same can be used as a verb also help or assist. The government aid reached the relief camp in time. We must aid the victims during an accident or a disaster. Okay. Help, but the second one, A I D E, the person who is the assistant. The aide gave first aid to the patients in the hospital. She was helped by the aides of the Red Cross. That is, the persons who are giving a kind of help is called aide. 
she was helped by the aids of the that means assistants those who are doing some help in the red cross okay it's a voluntary organization red cross okay now let us see allowed and allowed wow. yes akash yes, you wanted sir. to say something this is about. the word hmm. where we really confuse hmm. allowed i know the meaning allowed the first uh, one to permit the, the second one yeah. the second one allowed yeah. that means uh, to permit someone permit allowed someone, yeah. and allowed what is allowed what is the present tense of allowed allow allow yes, right sir. very good yeah allow hmm. and allowed it's uh, really uh, we may not get an idea hmm. uh, while we speak hmm. oh how can uh, how can come uh, into the mind when we speak so allowed and allowed yeah so you yes. may be saying uh, maybe this allow a l l o w i or a l o u d allowed yes, both are different yes. things yes sir one is to the second one is a l l o w is allowed to permit okay the second one the first one is allowed speak aloud in a raised voice yes. in a high pitch i can't hear you please speak aloud loud and allowed right So now look at the look at the screen. Allowed to be clearly heard loudly. The manager of the store read the announcement aloud to the customers. Do not read aloud in the library. You will be disturbing everyone there. The second one is again allowed past tense of the verb to allow which means permit. Okay. The student was allowed to take the English exam online. she was not allowed to write the examination without the hall ticket okay yes. already and already yes sir this is one of the most confusing word mm. so can you explain how where in where we can use already and where we can use already yes i can really explain that that's a very yes, good sir. question you have asked because again you know educated people and students everyone always get confused already and already, already yes the first one is all ready everyone is ready. ready okay so when you want to talk about everyone is ready what is meaning of all everyone, everyone. so put right or a double l mm. all and ready everyone is ready yes, the second one is there that is before that so let us look at the look at the screen all ready completely prepared it has the slight pause between two single words all and ready when i pronounce that words all ready. ready the first one the second one is all ready see the difference you could a bit yes, when you so. pronounce itself all ready, ready. all ready see that's the difference there so when we pronounce the words we can easily get it the teacher was all ready for the class as soon as i put on my put my coat on i will be all ready then the second one is all ready that's an adverb be a certain time or by the time mohan was already finished his homework i had already completed my work when he arrived okay so that's a time you know it's a certain time the by the time by the time that's meaning of already right now the another word is altogether similar that's sounding words yes. altogether all, all together. together all together this means completely Com yes all together means everybody yeah. together yeah, as a together. group yes right now look at the word see all together means an adverb so again like already and already oh. similarly this also should be read all together that's okay. a pronunciation and the other one is all together right completely and fully is it example is it is best to avoid situation all together means to avoid the situation completely so okay. all together means completely another example he had acted more than 100 films all together combining right? come yeah now see all together generally as a group on the whole everyone together we sang the chorus all together you know what's mean of chorus yes sir yes, so yeah. it's a group of singing singers can, yeah group of singers singing. together yes, chorus singing yeah. chorus singing we sang the chorus all together they were all heard it all together heard it means coming together oh, heard okay. it coming together actually yeah. okay heard it the books lay all together in a heap the books all lay together then uh, i won't yes, i would not want to pronounce those words uh, akash you have to pronounce those words for me yes sir the very first word is mm. angle mm. and the second word is angel angel okay yes angle it is a word used in mathematics generally yeah uh, for example uh, a slant line is 
taken with the base mm. the distance from the uh, base line and the second uh, slant line is taken as an angle okay. that it is also called as the theta like yeah and angel yeah. it is generally used for a uh, girl's beauty right yeah beautiful yeah. girl yes, yeah. uh, yes what you may you say yes, so angel means and so it is the represented to the girls yeah. oh yeah. it's nothing but a heavenly maid or something yes, which is looking pretty and good okay. so it's mainly represented to the girls girls yes, yeah so it's a pretty girls you say it's a girl no? yes sir yeah no. the first one you are both of you are correct yes sir the ankle the mathematics ankle angle. Yes. okay but the, now look at the screen it's a angle is a figure formed by two lines extending from same point a point of view the equilateral triangle has all the three angles of the same degrees he looked at the problems from different angle and the second one is angel is a heavenly being or something or someone who is lovely and good good so as you said it is not the only word referring to the beautiful girls or beautiful person okay or a person a helpful he came like an angel to help me a person who appears suddenly is actually a heavenly being always they say in especially in Chris christian mythology yes. or christian doctrines they always refer uh, a heavenly being which comes to the rescue of others many people dream of angels and they always figuratively they always uh, described with wings because they say uh, the angels any time everywhere they can appear very fast that's why the artists always give to a wings pairs of wings to the angels yes sir i have not seen no one has seen angels we doubt whether angels exist or not but people say there are angels so but now in the true sense of it angels means a person who helps you in times of need or as you said as you may said a beautiful girls are called little girls are called angels okay. so we have many angels in our institutions yes. many angels are the yes. many beautiful girls are in the institutions right okay, okay. right the next one let please look at the so attain and obtain okay. so i have a doubt yeah. i won't so many of them won't really confuse with spelling uh. but confusion with the meaning, meaning. can yes. you differentiate the meaning sir yes yes the spelling is completely different yes. attain and Ob obtain. obtain yeah attain means which you get something you look at the screen you get something to accomplish accomplish or achieve or arrive education will help you to attain your goals she worked hard to attain position in the company so you you get it something yes you get it by the second one is obtain to acquire get something that is not so easy you have to work hard to get that one so such situation you had use obtain he obtained a university degree we can't say he obtained a pair of pants okay you have say i got a acquired a pair of pants or you got a pair of pants you cannot say he obtained a pair of obtain usually a degree something like that okay okay so now now look the next one is i can explain this word sir both you will explain oh yes, umesh sir. good good umesh so, please explain so yeah. auto autobiography it's nothing but auto it's a self mm. bio it's yeah. a life story mm. and graphy it's a written yeah. so autobiography commonly we can say that the story which the life story which is written by himself yeah. we can call as a autobiography autobiography so let me uh, give a example yeah. my experiment with truth is written by mm. mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi so right so that's an oh, what do you say so a, a story written by, by a self himself. if i write my story so, yeah. it will become autobiography. autobiography then what is biography yes sir the biography means okay a person writing about other person mm. yes it is called as a bi biography mm. the life history or something about the other person yeah. written by someone else very good yes it is called as biography so uh, both uh, have explained the meaning very well please look at the board yes story written by a person about his or her life is called autobiography as uh, umesh said it is auto means self bio means life graphy means writing okay. or field of study so autobiography means writing life by self. self my experiment with the truth is written by gandhi ji the second one is biography an account of somebody or a life written by somebody, somebody. biography means writing life example the life of samuel johnson by james boswell samuel yes. johnson was a very Uh, famous english writer yes, samuel johnson and ave and ave okay so okay. by pronouncing the words correctly you will get the spellings ave and ave yes ave and ave there is a pause in between now let's look at ave means a method or a style or a manner of doing something or a, uh, a 
a road, a way. There is a way to go. There is a way. For example, there is a way which leads the village. Okay. Of method. I knew there was a way to solve this puzzle. Suppose your mathematics teacher give you a, uh, a problem, uh, a puzzle, and you solve it. Say, yeah, this is the way I, I, I solve this problem. The second one is a way. Okay. Is an adverb or adjective. A distance or going from. Go away. The birds flew away when they heard a gunshot, sound of a gun. The music faded away. So, that is a, a distance or going away from when you wanted to talk about it. Then, the next one is a lot and a lot. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, regarding these two words, mm. we may not uh, uh, make any spelling mistake regarding this. Yeah. And uh, but only the meaning or uh, while we are pronou uh, uh, pronouncing a uh, sentence or uh, something like that, mm. how can we guess whether it is a lot or a lot? So, in this pronunciation itself. So yes. Sir, I can also say it is the word which can uh, completely change the meaning of a sentence if I make a mistake. Ah, in this. Yeah, that's why, this why, that's why we, I specifically taken these words called words often, words often confused. Because if you pronounce the words or if you hear the words pronounced correctly like this one, like allowed and allowed, allowed and allowed, all together, all together you get the correct me uh, that's pronunciation yes. then you can write it correctly similarly okay. the word a lot and a lot a lot a lot, a lot some, something more is the first number yes. right so le please look at the screen a lot i heard a lot about gandhi yes. i heard a lot about hitler okay yes. i heard a lot about our schools i heard a lot about our secretary yes. good, okay. good things yes yeah inspirational things, things, motivational things. Okay. I heard a lot about him. Yes. People he hear a lot about him these days. People hear a lot about our society. Yes. See, yes, that's sir. a mean, so how many examples I told you? Yes. yes sir. Then another one is, what is the meaning of a lot then? A lot means distribute, distribute. proportionate to, to a portion out. You guys need a lot a time, to a lot, not a lot, a lot, a lot more time to practice. Okay. So set aside a lot you have to allot time for studies. Yes. Okay. You have your play and fun and frolic, but you should allot solid time to study okay. because okay, ultimately that is what that's we are come for. Yes, yes, sir. Right. Next one is exceed and exceed. Yes, sir. This yes, meaning you may word. not know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you may oh, not yes, know, yes, know what yes, you are, so uh, you are aiming at. Yes, also, yes. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and also you can exceed and exceed. Yes, sir. Look at the board. Okay. Accede and exceed. The first word is accede to agree or to allow. Harish finally acceded to accepting the presidency of the company. He agreed that he will be the president. Exceed means go beyond or to surpass. Economic growth exceeded expectations this year. Go beyond, exceed. Okay. Then another one is adverse and averse. So, sir, I can say that adverse come frequently in my life, but mm. I did not hear adverse. Can you differentiate? You did not hear a word. Yes, yes, yes. So, can you differentiate this word, sir? Yes, yes. Please look at the word. Adverse means unfavorable or a hostile. Those driving in adverse weather means it's unfavorable, it's not supporting you. That means meaning of adverse. Those driving in adverse wind conditions may put themselves at risk when you drive, you know. It is a unfavorable, hostile, not favorable to you, not supporting you. That is the meaning of adverse. Whereas, averse means repulsed or repelled. She was immediately averse to the idea when someone suggests something. Okay, let us do like this. She at once she repulsed it. She agreed, disagreed, say averse. Oh, I do not like it, she said. So, okay. that is the meaning of averse, repelled or rep Re repulsed. Repelled. A's and A's. Right. There are two words on the screen. Yes, A's sir. and A's. People, many people confused with this. Yes, sir. Yeah. And this, the first one is nothing to do with air. air. There is no singular, singular or plural, plural for plural air. Air. Yes. air is everywhere. Air. I cannot say there is a lot of A's here. So can I say in the room? There is a big room. Yes. Can I say uh, Can I say that there is a lot of A's? No, sir. No. no. There is a lot of air. Yes, sir. There is singular. Yes. Sir. And plural also is the same thing. Yes,